previously on Long Dark Interloper. And this is pretty much the coldest part of the day, 13 hours of daylight left. I'm going to keep doing this in one hour chunks. And just watch what the weather does. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Right, we've got to go. We've got to go find proper shelter. This is emergency time now. Fuck, and we've got to go far. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Where's the closest, safest place? We can't go to the dam, because Fluffy's there. This would make a fantastic intro. Make a brilliant intro, it's just that as shit as conditions can get really. Wow. This is gonna be this is one of the scarier moments. Oh fuck. Alright, here goes nothing. I always just tap it to make sure I stay central. You might think I'm being too cautious, but I don't care. This is not about bravado for me. This is about survival. My condition's not good. 55 I don't like. Especially because the plan was to get to uh, 100 before Heading to Forlorn Muskeg. This is making me uh, doubt whether we want to do that at all. I'm not heading to Forlorn Muskeg without 100%. So, following that line of logic, if we don't have 100% and we need tools, we have to head to Desolation Point. We can cure the stuff with us as we go. We can, well, yeah, we'll leave it in Central Highway. Make our base somewhere good, safe, like um, Rabbit Island. The only problem we could have is um, cabin sickness, but that would be a good problem. I can handle cabin sickness. Let's just get the flare gun out. I have seen wolves up here. cannot afford an attack. I know a way to get down here, from here, without, um, well, in a, in a pretty safe way. I kind of know where the roots are, so. Roots are in. I'm going to pick that up later. I shouldn't be staying out here. Let's have some discipline. Stick to the plan. Let's get inside. Fuck, I heard... Oh, fuck, I thought I heard a wolf. Oh, I just shit myself. Jesus. Okay, finally. Jesus. Oh, my word. We're going to eat. Let's eat. Straight away. Stop any kind of condition loss. We made it. I'm worried about our clothes now. Oh, fuck, at least we made it. That was um, potentially life and death, right? Then. Oh. Don't know how many hours of daylight we've got left, so let's just check it quickly. See if we get lucky with anything. Some clothes would be nice. Or oh, fire striker. I don't need tools. Let's, uh, we do need fuel, don't we? So we can, yeah, break that stuff down. It's good. Can't break that down. Can't break that down. Not much here. Jesus, it's a bit disappointing. Okay, we can break. Okay, so we can get fuel. That's about it. And we can sleep, but uh, fine. Let's just do that. Get some calories. I'm gonna Let's just eat a little more. Actually. Oh, I can't cook that up that well. Um, 
Okay, let's eat some of these. I'm gonna go to excess. I want a, just a massive sleep. I don't even. I want to go past the calories and then have a few for tomorrow. So let's just eat what we have. I want to be re-energized and uh, with loads of condition. So let's go for the longest sleep possible. Let's get on the top bunk. Go for a whopping 10. Boom. So 50%. Let's see what happens. Now we're sleeping this long. We're not trying to time it with daylight or anything. Just getting our condition up to a whopping healthy 86%. Yes, I will take that. That's great. Do we have enough time to break something down? 11 minutes. I don't think you can do this in the dark. Let's see. Okay. If I can break other stuff down in the dark, I might just stay here and go back to bed. Nah, that's what I thought. So you can start it in the dark. You can't finish it. Alright. Let's just sleep a little more, as much as we can, and then we need to, you know, do we need to, should we, I kind of think we shouldn't, honestly, it's going to be cold as fuck outside, let's, uh, let's see if I'm right, it's not a good idea to head out at night of course, where's the freaking door? This is so dark. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, it's not good. It's windy. His ability is okay. But I don't like that wind. I mean, that could be the sign of a storm coming in. It sounds like it's picking up. So, I'm not heading out. I would only head out in this situation. You know, in, at this time of night, um, if it was a perfect, you know, perfectly still, clear night with almost perfect visibility, and we don't have that, so we're just going to kill some time. Let's stop before we start to lose condition. I'm going to try and get this as high as we can. This is why we have our resources, so I'm not going to try and save them. So we got a little bit of fuel. We now have four reclaimed wood and a stick. That's oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's crappy. But let's uh, let's play it safe. Five hours of darkness left. Let's uh, kill another three hours, and then we'll sleep. And we'll see. So we could sleep for three hours on those, four hours on those calories. That's pretty good. And then uh, hopefully our condition is pretty close to 100 then. Four hours, yeah. Let's do it. So that was worth it. We've now got daylight and 99% uh, condition. So we're playing smart. Just about as good a start as you can get on an interloper morning. The stuff is actually curing quite well. 47%. 40%. We still need a maple. I'm gonna crouch before we leave. Never been so hungry. It's gonna be extremely cold out here, so we're gonna have to be quick. Where? It's minus eleven, that's not that bad. Really, really not bad. So I have to be very cautious and prepared to run. Probably will run. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I don't get surprised. You can kill wolves with flares, of course. Um, but I'm not going to do that. It's not worth it for the guts and whatever. And the hide, the pelt will come later. 
so we don't need that now. Can use the food, the meat, but only if you are based in one spot. I mean, as if you sort of like set up a base, you know, a place your your home, the place where you live. And uh, I'm going to go check out this whatever this is. Put this away now. So we we'll do a little climbing. I think we we have painkillers, don't we? Yeah, we've got plenty of painkillers. So, fuck it. Oh, this net says cattails too, I remember now. So, double whammy. These corpses could, you know, they could yield a little more. It would be nice. They never give me anything. Ever. Not really. Even I mean, what would you get from a, a body? You'd get clothes, probably. So you'd think you'd find at least some shit clothes often on a corpse, and then you know you, you might not decide to keep them, but you would still get them. But yeah, I think on Interloper they probably just dialed the chance of finding anything anywhere down to nothing. So I guess rather than the sort of body that we see, you have to, you're supposed to imagine, you know, like a skeleton or something that's really decomposed or, you know, that kind of corpse. I think they've just not got the, uh, the image for it. Cool. So I'm going to be a little more cautious. I knew that stream was basically safe or still is. Um, all I remember from having come down here before, what is that? Nothing. From coming down here before, I think I have to hear, hear footsteps. Maybe not. Yeah, the only thing I know from coming down here before is stick to the stream. I mean, you would do anyway, because you want all the cattails. But, um, weak. I've never been attacked around here. Rabbits up ahead, means I can put the flare gun away. Ah, and breathe a sort of sigh of relief. At least temporarily. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Anytime you're surrounded by deer or rabbits, you can relax. So great thing about this Obviously calories, but we're getting just limitless supply of tinder. And we have quite a few matches, so this right now is basically meaning that we don't need to worry about starting a fire again. Pretty much. Because we've got so much tinder, and I think we have so many matches. We've got, what's that, 30, 20, 32 matches. So, uh, you know, that's 32 fires, and we've got all the things that we need, so, yeah, that's cool. It's getting pretty foggy, so I'm going to take the flare gun out again. It's the campground, this is worth checking. There's a carcass up ahead. We've not really got enough fuel to start a fire next to it, but I might, I'm probably just going to take the meat and leave the guts. You know, literally just scavenge, but we're we're moving at this point. It's too dangerous to hang around here. I wouldn't feel comfortable. This is the uh, obviously, as the name suggests, it's the bear's stomping ground, and I've come across him many times. Um, we will hear him before we see him. So, oh, it's Good chunk of meat on that. Very cool. It's kind of a normal day in Interloper, freezing, starving, but otherwise fine. And this time, and this time only, I'm going to follow the stream down. Now I don't normally at the campground there. I'll turn off left because 
I want to save time, so I, I, I sort of take the most direct route uh, down to the uh, fishing huts down there by the lake. But today, very, very, very foggy. So, the only way I know to get down to the road, the coastal highway, safely and not get lost is follow the stream. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. I can hear him, the bear. It's very far away. But I can definitely hear him. And uh, obviously, I have absolutely no idea where he is. So we have the flare gun out. And we're going to keep moving. I'm crouching, obviously. So I'm just keeping my ears open. Probably leave the cattails. Oh. <laughs> I think we probably should leave the cattails. As tempting as they are, so. I can still hear him. Again, it's still very faint. And uh, when I process this, I'll turn up the sound on the game too, so hopefully you can kind of hear some of what I'm hearing. In fact, I'm turning up the, turning up the sound on my uh, headset right now. I just heard him kind of, whatever you call it, the bear growl. And then some wolves further away, so even though I can't hear his footsteps, really, I'm still staying crouched. I'm not going to risk it. We can afford to take the, the condition hit. I can still hear footsteps, but it's so faint that it's almost nothing, so... I'm thinking that we're probably safe to walk, at least. I don't know. Is that just impatience talking? I need to stay safety. Stay safety. I've got to remind myself now. Play safe. This is interloper. This is no joke. You don't risk. You don't take risks. Can't hear him at all anymore. So I'm going to head up the bank here a little bit and I'm going to. Fuck. Wolf. Coming right for us. Shit. Uh, drop decoy. No. What the fuck? Is he coming for us or not? Must be. He's following the smell. Fuck, I missed him. Ooh. Ah, reload. Quick. Take the meat. I just heard. Okay. Fuck, the bears. Sounds like he's getting closer. Okay. Oof. See, if we hadn't done that climb, we would be in trouble right there. Jesus, that was a that was a cliffhanger. Maybe I'll <laughs> end the uh, last episode there. It would be a tiny bit short, but not too bad. I can still hear the bear's footsteps. So. That was that was a new experience for me having a wolf come at me that way. So it, it hadn't seen us; it was following its nose. And because we had meat, which makes me wonder. Because this, 
I'm going to drop that because I can hear the bear getting closer. It's fucking not a good feeling. So I'm wondering if it's following this meat. So I'm crouching. I'm bringing this meat with me. And if I see it, I'm going to drop the meat and then stay low. And back off. Let it get distracted by the meat and then shoot with the flare gun. If, if it appears out of the fog, somehow, somewhere. It's interesting how fog is, is affecting the game, gameplay so much. This is, uh, it's not really a scenario I've been in before. So close to a bear and then in fog like this. And just being able to hear it but not having any idea where it is at all. I have no clue. But his footsteps, it's really hard with the sound as well to place where they're coming from. Keep putting that down and picking it back up so I don't do something silly, I'll lose it. Still hear his footsteps. They seem a bit closer almost. I can I think I can tell the direction. I think they're coming from over where I'm looking now. <sighs> Fuck we can't either. That means we can't use our, our um can't use our flare gun, so I need to put this down. Let's find a flat surface. So fucking yeah, uncomfortable. This beer, bear, beer. This, yeah, can't equip a weapon. So let's just heal ourselves. Let's make sure we can use that. Okay. Let's keep going. Fuck, I really want to just move. Like, it, the, the temptation to just run is so strong. But until I know there's cover we can get to, and there's a car up ahead, if I know we can kind of run that far, I'm not going to crouch like this, I'm just going to leg it. But I'm not going to do that until we get close to that car. There is the ultimate evil. Oh, I think I can pick this back up now, I'm walking. This will separate me from the bear no matter what, so I think I can afford to move now. Bunny rabbits, that's fantastic, that means we're somewhere safe. That's the road we need to be on. So let's run now. Not so worried about the bear now, finally. That's passed. We're grabbing what we can from this, and then we're going to head out onto. Mm. Actually, we need to follow the road because of the fog. So, let's just check everything super quick. Just open that. Alright, so we remember. And then, now we've just got to. Now it's that race against time, so we don't lose too much condition. Just keeping my ears open now. Can't hear the bear. I'm going to stick on the road rather than go onto the lake because I don't know where wolves are. And I might lose myself on the, the lake, so... Sticking to the road. That bear could be up ahead of us at the fishing huts, I have no idea. We're not too tired, we're just freezing and starving, so... I can run.
I'm going to slow down and keep my ears open. I can't hear anything. No, can't hear anything, so I think we can afford to check this. Hooks. There's one. Sometimes two. Okay. Just listening again. Can't hear it there, so. Looks like we made it. The immediate. Panic is over. So straight away I'm going to get in bed, I'm going to eat. Let's just get some of this condition back up as soon as possible. I'm not going to care about daylight. I'm not even going to chuck, check the other huts. This will come I'm going to leave those. Uh, yep, fuck it. So, can't cook those, let's put them outside. You've improved my habits, <laughs> boys. So we're just going to pop those there. And head back inside. You've improved my habits a lot, and then remember to drop all this. Cool, cool. Alright, good. Alright, so we've got. The world's biggest supply of cattails, but we're still not too heavy. We're pretty long in water, so I think I might save that. I'm going to drink something else that'll give us some more calories. Now is probably a good time to use them. Cattails, 63, that's just ridiculous. Uh, I'll drop, I'll keep, I don't know, 20? That'll be enough, won't it? You can always find more tinder. Alright. So. Raishi is less useful, so we're going to have that. And that should be enough. Let's just try and sleep as much as we can. Sleeping through the day. Like a student. There we go, four hours of daylight left. That's still enough to be useful. So, I'm going to move immediately. I'm going to check the other huts. So, 53%. Still low enough that we need to be extremely careful. Um, we're going to have to do a fire soon. Make a fire. Do a fire. We are. We need to cook this meat because it's at thirty-five percent. Because it's at thirty-five percent, and um, we are very low on water. So I'm gonna. Mm, we need to get somewhere decent. So Rabbit Island is one really good spot. It's probably my favourite spot. I'm not until we've got more condition. I'm not prepared to risk going into town. So I like the Rabbit Island. It lets it, it gives us a safe place, basically. It's the only place we'll find. Fuck! That scared me. Some random wind noise. I thought it was a bear. Jesus. Uh, heading over to. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to wear that, are we? Nah, that's way worse. All right. So, 14 cloth. Break it down in 10 minutes. Nah, let's just drop it. Cloth really isn't worth very much to us at the moment. Okay, there's nothing there, so I think that's it. Sorry for the jerky mouse movements. Visibility is good, excellent. It's good enough. So it's minus 10, that's alright. It's not too bad, and that's in the wind. So, 
that's actually not a bad day. And we're in one of the safest areas because of the visibility. So this is this is why we've come here. We're at 53%. We need a rest and recovery zone. And this is it. This is a, as, about as well as you can do if you just need to recover. It would also actually, now thinking about it, this would be a great base, um, great place to do some fishing, obviously. And I'm going to play fishing differently. I'm going to start much earlier in the game in this playthrough, this series. It might be a maple. What's that? Is that a corpse? Yep. Probably being a bit brash. You know, not looking out for wolves. But maybe it's the uh, the excitement of having visibility for the first time. So it's interesting, actually, now just reflecting how our our series has been affected by uh, what we've come across. Coming across that those wolves, you know, at the time we did, turned us away from our full-on musket goal. You know, and we've, we've had some unexpected stuff too. So, I'm really quite enjoying this series. I think this is exciting stuff. Now we've got as good a shot as we ever will at Interloper, and it really is just up to us, our decisions, what we kind of make of it now. So, forward to, we can afford to run. Three hours of daylight left only, so we actually want to tire ourselves out. No sign of any any kind of danger. Food, drink, a little wood, a little cloth. These are the things that make the world go round. Nothing else is there, nothing hidden away. Okay, so it's at zero degrees, I can just stop here and. Oh no, it's not, it's minus 10. Okay, minus 1. I'm gonna check over to the right because I don't wanna have to go back. I don't want to have to come here again, so I'm going to make sure we strip it. I'm especially looking for a maple sapling. And then uh, we want to check the other fishing hut because they're sort of high value places. So let's just check I'm not missing anything up here. Let's make sure that's good. You know, we could kill a deer with a leg and couldn't we? Ha, ah, look at that. I'm proud of that, my memory. That just got us the bow. That's the value of experience. I was just going to say, hmm, do we take down a deer? That would solve our food problem. That would mean we could get 100% just easy. Oh fuck, wolf. Maybe we take both down. Maybe we get ambitious. That would be amazing. So close to Rabbit Island. Now I'm going to get round the side of it and I'm going to get pretty close. I'm going to make sure that I can line up my shot. And I'm going to, I really have to remind myself how a flag on fires. Can't feel my feet. And it makes these scary ass noises when it's eaten. Fuck. I didn't hit it. I just scared it. Alright, it's got seven kilos of meat on it. But, oh fuck, we've got to take him on again. Oh shit. Uh, he's coming back. 
Oh, this is a shit way to use our flares. It really is. Fuck. Goddamn freezing. Yes. Okay, we've got one shot left. Okay, it's safe. I can put my flare gun away. I can check this and we can come back tomorrow. We can get a... Oh, yes. We're eating, boys. We're eating. We could almost do it. Right here. Hmm, is that a good idea? I don't know. How much food do we have? We need to cook this, really. I'm going to risk 11%. Uh, no. Maybe we do this here. How far is it to get back up there? Not far at all. And it is quite windy, and there's no way place to start a fire up on Rabbit Island, so... I reckon we do it here. We don't need to sleep here, but we can spend time here. As much fuel as we've got, basically, we can cook this meat up. And we're really overdue for a fire. So, let's do this. We're obviously going to harvest all of that deer meat. Oh, this is brilliant. We get up to 100% now, boys and girls. Oh, phew. I'll tell you what though, we fucking earned it. Didn't we? Going and getting that flare gun and then using the flare gun in the way we did. We've got two for one here. We can get the wolf pelt, we can get the wolf scouts, we can get the wolf meat. We can get the, all of that 7.7 7 kilos of deer meat. That little exchange there is actually a game changer. So, throwing everything on. We're going to eat this right away. It's in such bad condition. And we have to stop our condition loss. So that's going down the gullet immediately. And then we're, we're out of water. So we've got to have that too. So I'm going to cook this up. And because we don't have much fuel... We're only going to cut a kilo at a time from this deer. I'm going to eat that too. I'm only going to cook the smallest amount of water possible. So now we're trying to save time, maximize our fuel. So, so basically I want to cook as much as we can right now. And then we're going to go up to the house. And we're going to stay in the house overnight using the, the water in the, maybe not the water, but the, the food we get here. That is a beautiful sight. It's almost a F12. It's almost a cover. That's much better. Oh, look at that with the smoke and the bodies. It's a fantastic screenshot, actually. Just with the breath, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna keep that. That's it's quite a good shot. Maybe I could make that the series cover because I haven't actually set the first episode of this series live yet. So still up to us. And that was a beautiful screenshot. And what would be cool is if you guys, by the time you get to watch this. If you've seen everything up till now, and you've been clicking on that thumbnail the whole time, and you didn't know where that shot came from, and then now I'm imagining you finding out in this video that it's that screenshot that you watched. I think that's kind of cool. So I've just decided. Then let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna make that the thumbnail of this series. It's not as cold anymore, so I'm gonna take another kilo. 
good. This is very, very good. The weather's calmed down. Also excellent. So we have our visibility back. I think now I'm more confident about heading up to the island and sleeping. So I'm going to take this. You always cook meat up immediately, so we're going to do that. Just keep its condition up. So this is good, sort of high quality, 100% meat now. This is that sort of sustenance. Yeah, and then we need as much water as we can sort of wring out of this fire. So that will do. I think we can maybe cook up in that truck there. Um, See if we can do all of it. Nine hours of darkness left. That's fine. It's really all about the visibility. I think it looks like we just about got that perfect. Yep. That's pretty good. Those bodies aren't going anywhere, so. Oh, there's the shore. That's why we need that visibility. Now, visibility has actually got markedly worse since we last stepped out, so. Um, we've got plenty of energy, so we're going to run this one. Looks like that's another sapling. Is it? Yeah. Birch, fantastic. There's more arrows. Beautiful sticks. Beautiful. I picked that up in Australia. Beautiful. That's what people say here. <laughs> we're in this restaurant, and uh, there's this. It's a Chinese restaurant, super Chinese, you know, didn't speak much English even. And then this group of Aussies, like full on Aussies, like, ah, yeah, good eye. Sort of rocks up outside and they rocks up outside and they see these, got this sign up and they come in. And it was, it was just so cute, like watching the Aussies and how they are, because they're so sweet and warm and funny. You know, the fish turns up and this, <laughs> this old lady is just like, ah, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, beautiful. And she, she just could not stop saying it, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. So beautiful. You know, like it's, like it's artwork or, you know, a puppy or a child, you know. I, my wife and I are just sitting there sort of giggling away. Yeah. Gotta love the Aussies. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Nah, really though. Australians are absolutely lovely people. And I love this country. So, finally feel like I've uh, found <laughs> found my spot, which is a big deal for me because I was always nomadic. My dad called me a, a nomad when I was a teenager. I would just roam, and then uh, as soon as I was old enough to start going overseas, that's exactly what I did. Run further and further and further. Right, I'm not going to check any of this. I've got eight hours of darkness left. I'm going to try and get good sleep. So it's the first time we've been safe for a long time, uh, safe and fed and everything. So have to remember to leave my food outside every freaking time. I forget, and I need to remember to drop the stuff to cure. I always forget that too. We'll pop our meat out of here. Um, I guess we eat this one. What have we got? We've got 600 calories. I'm going to eat the, the granola bar for dinner. So we'll drop all the meat outside. That preserves it. We eat our stale granola bar. Delicious dinner. We hydrate. And then we're going to just make it through the night, basically. So, drop everything. That maple. Oh, that's our bow. Right there. On that, flow, on that floor there. That's our bow. Yeah, baby. We have our heavy hammer. So, desolation point next. Let's build our... Let's do our uh, arrowheads. And, um... Yeah. Arrow heads and tools. I think we're in a pretty good place. 
Let's sleep. I might just stop this here. This is a, a very different kind of ending to the previous ones. But it seems like a natural break. Uh, yeah, I'll do this the traditional way. So no cliffhanger. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, I'm Gaming 8 and you've been watching Long Dark Interloper. Ciao for now.